So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the pen tool and maybe some shapes to get this outline of this helmet. To make it symmetrical, I'll only make half so that any defects that are on one side look on the other side and looks really intentional. So let me start. Um, this one, I need to make it fully anyway. So I'm going to start with this corner point. Always easy to start with the corner point. Click. I should come in the middle and click and drag with the shift key on. See that? I'm getting a curve. Now you don't see it. Maybe. So I'm coming in the middle point. See that? You can do about 180 degrees with three points. And there I've got one shape. And before I lose it, I'm just going to yeah, keep a keep a nice thick red outline. And no oh sorry, I'll keep an outline and no fill. So I click on the fill. And I click on this strike thing, so so there's no fill. I've got a shape, not exact, but that's okay. Now you can see this thing can move accidentally. So one thing you want to do is click on this, say object, uh, lock, 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 lock. Fifth one there. Lock. Thank you. Oh, it didn't work. Object lock selection. Lock, and I have to say selection. Okay. So now it's locked. Now I can't select it by mistake. Now, before I lose power, because I'm on 6%, what I will do is I'll quickly power up. What did I do now? Okay. So I've got one shape there. This one here, we just made it a bit more thicker, but you can see the outline. Again, pen tool. I can do this in two parts and I will do it in two parts. So click, click, click. So this is same thing like last time, pen tool, okay? I'd asked you to master the pen tool. It's a really good thing to do. See, I've got this one here. Yeah. I'll fill it. Now you see, you see, I've got something here in this artwork. I'm just going to make a rectangle. If I click on the rectangle and I hover on the corner, remember I told you visual communications software is talking to you. I hover over this and I see the cursor and I rotate. Okay. And then I don't click, I come in the middle and click, see, I don't click here, I come to the middle when I see the move tool, see if you don't grab it properly, it it keeps annoying you, so I'm just going to try and, is it because I'm still in the move, let me, okay, okay, I've grabbed it, moved it, it's not that big, I'm going to scale it down, and I'm just going to use my arrow keys to move it now, okay. Probably scale it down a bit. There you go. You see that? Now I'm going to take both of these shapes and because we are going to use the Pathfinder tool today, I might as well start using it. The Pathfinder tool allows me to take one shape. It allows me to take... Um, come on. Take another shape. I've got these two shapes. What can I do with these two shapes? I'm just going to select both of them. I press the Alt key and I make a copy so I don't destroy them. I can take these two shapes and I can click divide. When I click divide, it might seem nothing has happened. It's joined, but no, it has divided this. If I go to object, ungroup, then you see what has happened. Bang, bang, bang. Very useful way to make logos. Steven says, hey, Dilip, you're pretty good with logos and stuff. Yeah. Can you make me a logo? Yeah, sure, Steven. I'll spend a week doing nothing. Five minutes before Steven is due, I'd say, hey, Steven, how do you like this? Yeah, beautiful shape. I had to think so much to get it. Anyway, that's your Pathfinder tool. 
also you can join shapes you can select these two and I think this one is merge this one is merge has it merged no I still have the line so select these two and unite you can see that see that a one outline now I wouldn't have been able to make that with a pen tool easily but you can see it's united so these two shapes here I will unite them and you can see I got a nice united shape a bit easy on the pen tool uh, now I would I would if I was just too fanatic and I had all the time in the world I would really do this I would go and make sure that this bottom one is closer here a bit closer and just do that okay now that is done I press the alt key bring it here I come this side and with with uh, the alt key pressed I just turn it inside out till I match it exactly in size and I've got the second horn so now it's got two horns it's too horny now but uh, there you go I'll do the rest very quickly and you see this mask beautiful mask I need something for the eye right again our friend the pathfinder tool is going to come in handy so that's one shape I need this other shape so so far only pen tool nothing new I'm just tracing I didn't even do my own design I'll just give this a different color yeah it is on top so let me let me bring this uh, let me put this guy back and then let me put this guy it's automatic going automatically going behind otherwise I can go right click arrange I can send it to back if I want and so on you see these two click on both of them press shift click on the other guy shift to collect one more divide now you go to ungroup and cool that's done I'm going to very quickly do this last bit here Just gonna, just gonna make sure I click this, shift click this, press the alt key, I get a copy, press the alt key and just as you drag it inside out, get the other side. I'm, I'm pretty much done, I'm not gonna uh, m mess around with this one, I'm happy with this. I will go to object, unlock all, don't need these. This picture can come and sit on the side just so that I know that's what I did. I'm going to play with this. I'm going to improvise this. I make, a, I make a copy of this. Now I need highlights. And I want highlights. I, I can make a highlight. For example, I can, I can go and take a tool. I'll just take a pen tool and a white color. And I can make a highlight here. See this? Click, click and drag, click, click, click and drag. And I could do that. I could, I could be making highlights and then selecting them and choosing opacity and so on. Okay. But first of all, I'm going to give this a nice gray color. I can go ahead and give uh, a gradient mesh and make these things a bit come here and make this a bit dark click on the gradient mesh click on this point here and click here and make it a bit light so gradient mesh allows me to give vertex points a color you see normally you can give an object a color but gradient mesh allows me to give a vertex point a color so that makes it look a bit 3d you see that now I want highlights you see this piece here if I press alt and I move it there's a lot I can do with with, with this 
if I press Alt and I move it. And I, I'll use a different shape just to show you what I'm trying to do. So when you have an ellipse, if you press Alt and you bring in another ellipse, let's show you it's in a different color. So you have these two ellipses. If you select them and divide it, after dividing, you must ungroup. If you ungroup it, you get these, uh, get these shapes. See these shapes, very popular, used in logo thousands of times. The almighty swoosh, it's even there on your QTAC. People love it. I remember once doing a very nice logo for a client. I did two versions and because I had promised him three, I just threw this one as a third one. And guess which one did he select? This one. I never put it on my portfolio. So if Stephen came and said, hey Dilip, I know you did a very quickie on me. I'd say, okay man, no problem. I'll give you this one. So I'd, I'd give him the two sushas and say, yeah, how do you like this? And he'd say, oh, that's awesome. That's what logos look like. Stephen, Mark, I don't know, whatever. And yeah, he'd, he'd be happy with this. It's a very simple technique, but trust me, you, you, you pull that on a client, chances are that will go as one version. And the company name was Financial First. I still don't have their logo, but the one I put on my site, I do have. I just, that's exactly what I did, two different colors and I had uh, Financial First in there. Ah, oh, this is going to eat up some of my recording time, slow, so we'll look at that. But is it, there's a better one which I did, which I kept on my portfolio. I didn't put the one the client chose on my portfolio. Okay, let's go back here. So this is what I'm trying here. So you see, now I've got these two shapes. I've got these two shapes. I'll give another color. Same thing what I did with the circle. Divide. After selecting both shapes, divide. Ungroup. And I get this nice shape here. See that? I'm going to scale it down. And I, I'll make it into white my highlight you can you can play with it as much as you want for example um, now that you have this shape I'm just gonna press the alt key and make a copy that's my copy you can take this fellow and apply some effect under effect you have blurs I'm just gonna give it a bit of a blur a Gaussian blur So I've got a bit of a blur there. See, nice soft blur. And if you want the sharpish kind of highlight highlights, you have this. So you have a bit of a blur, a bit of a highlight, a bit of everything. Uh, same thing on the other side. Uh, I'll just make a copy, fill it with uh, just a darker gray, not not necessarily black, and. Uh, And you can just play with the colors. Uh, you just need that slightly, ex just a bit of that extra. And that brings it that sharpness. The gradient is already there. Uh, that's one way to make your highlights and then you can add it to this. So you take this fellow. Uh, I'm done with the helmet. Delete all of this. Let me take this fellow. Press the Alt key and just give it an offset. And with a bit of practice, you will know which side you want. I'm just going to give it a different color so you can see what's happening here. So you can see that tiny offset here <coughs> and you'll get a tiny offset on the other side. Select both, divide, ungroup and then you get this piece here. Now I want this piece, this small one, this small one here. You don't have to make it white, you just have to make it a little less gray. And suddenly it starts giving you that depth. You see what I mean? And your, your art starts defining itself. It starts, it starts sort of working its way up. This one, a, a bit dark. I, if I want the same gray, I can just take the dropper tool and say, pick up this gray. Okay. If I want it softer here, I can say effect blur. And if you thought it was too strong, you can have play with the, a bit of the opacity and so on and so forth.
and then you can say okay I'm going to take all of these oh no that wouldn't be right because you want in this for this case you want the light on the left side and the shadow on the right side yeah you don't want to you don't want to be too wrong on that so just a bit I'm not even measuring it divide select both divide ungroup hopefully by now I've drilled into your head two shapes select both divide ungroup see that's the highlight here take this this uh, no I don't want that take this fella here and I'm just putting it out a bit on the outside as well I'm not even caring where it goes there now Patrick asked me one question and I want to share with you what he had asked me he asked me uh, another way of making a highlight so I can I'll show that to you you can have this in a gray color I'm going to make a copy of this in front you can have the front in a black in a darker gray color and you can then do this you can choose this blend tool see the blend tool you can say blend from this fellow to this fellow and with the white arrow tool you can say oh that's too too far I want this to move and you can get a kind of a small blend see that it, it, it might work it uh, because they are filled let me say oh, it should have been an outline yeah it worked better with just two lines yeah it worked better with just lines so let's do that so if this was just an outline and that's just a line alt come up here make this a darker line and try your blend tool again blend from here to here and you get that blend effect so you don't have to have a closed shape so I'm going to delete all of these points okay I'll try again so let's say you've got one line which is going to be a shadow it's uh, gray in color press the alt key have another line have it dark gray in color and you can blend from one to the other see that and I might try it with this one so for this guy here I'm gonna first just have an outline I don't need this point delete I don't need this point delete now I get the curvature which is going to match take this curvature alt and drag um, it's too much but I will make it smaller and then use the blend tool So you see that I've got a bit of a highlight going there and I can just stick it here but I should have had it going from white so I'm just going to do a couple of undos so this fella here has to go really bright really bright and then my blend tool from here to here I get a bit of a gradient and I'm going to stick it on this see that I get my bit of a brightness Ah, not happy I'm going to use, do it my old way alt key bring it here alt make another shape select both divide ungroup pick this piece up make it a bit lighter to give a highlight and uh, give it a make that a bit dark so can you see what I'm doing and over the course of it I'll, I'll finish it but you get the idea how I'm how this flat mask has become a bit nice and highlighted that's so the second thing you have to work on three helmets uh, three weapons these are the primary techniques as and when you need help I will come and help you not only to revise the technique but to show you more things that may be of need to you as you discover the software so I'm going to stop this recording and I'm going to uh, do the second demo of the banner questions about this one so this one will be